Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at only. Only is a method that will allow you to filter your collection using the keys. Let's dive into our first example. Let's collect and let's have a very simple collection with four integers in it. And then let's call only and then only accepts an array of keys. So if we wanted one, three, and four, the corresponding keys for one, three, and four are zero because this is a zero based index. So we need zero, we need two, and we need three. So we'll say zero, two, and three. Let's check out the results. And there we are. We get one, three, and four. Now notice one thing about only, and that is that the keys still remain intact. The only method does not reset the keys. To prove that point further, let's change our collection. Let's say product, and we will have some coconuts, and then price, 10, and finally, let's have some quantity of 45. Let me move that to a new line so you can see it. So on this new collection, I only need the product name. So I'm gonna pass in a string of product. And there we are, we have product coconuts. Now, one important thing to note here is that only is only going to work with the first dimension of any collection. Another nifty thing is that you can pass in a string as we've done here. You can pass in an array, right? So now I've wrapped it in square brackets and we get the exact same result. However, you can actually pass in just a comma separated list of strings. Let's say product comma, and then let's get the price and let's check out the results. So that works. Again, if you prefer to wrap this as an array, you can, and you get the exact same results. So only accepts a string or an array, either one. Another feature of only is that you can pass in null. And when you do, it returns the entire collection. This is useful if you have a conditional where perhaps sometimes you need to filter and only give back certain things, and sometimes you don't. So in that conditional, you can simply return null if you want only to basically be bypassed. Think of only with a null argument as a bypass. It's as if it wasn't even there. So it's a very useful little trick with only. The last little trick I want to show you is that you can use a collection instead of passing in arguments. Let me show you what that looks like. Say that we have keys and then we're going to set that equal to a new collection and then we're going to have product and let's have quantity. So what I can actually pass in is this entire collection into the only method. So again, we've created a secondary collection and then we've set this new variable keys equal to that collection and we're passing the entire collection into only. Let's check out the results. And there we are. We have product and quantity. So we've successfully used a collection to filter this other collection by their keys. Very useful, very nifty. So the last thing I want to show you is that only does not affect the original collection. So if we set collection and then we set our collection equal to that, and then we called only on that collection like so, and then we return collection, we get back our original collection. If you need to save the results of that only call, you need to save that to a new variable. We could say new collection equals that. And then instead of returning collection, we're going to return new collection. Let's check out the results. And there we are. We're back to where we started. So keep that in mind whenever you're using the only method.